Hello everyone, I'm Jim Sin Lee for SpeedEndurance.com and welcome to Speed Endurance TV. Today's video is another one from the mailbag and the response has been enormous. I've been getting hundreds of email questions, so send them in and I'll get to them one by one. So today's video will be based on this question. Jimson, what are the best three or five exercises in the weight room for a sprinter? Hmm. Okay, well, he didn't say how old he was and he didn't say what events he was doing. So uh, this answer will be a bit, not generic, but very high level. The first thing is the age of the athlete. Are we dealing with a 15 year old from high school or are we dealing with a masters or somewhere in between? The second thing is the, the training age of the athlete. And that means how many years has the athlete been competing and training at a high level? Is it two years? Is it 10 years? Because a college weight training schedule is different than an elite athlete in their 30s, like Dwayne Chambers, for example. So let's start talking about the weight program. Uh, I believe that a weight program is never the same. It should always change every two years maybe one or two years, because your body's changing, your strength levels are changing, and all these factors is a good reason why you need to speak to a good strength and conditioning coach and sit down with your plan and review all the exercises, parts that you are strong and weak on the entire force velocity curve. So, so that being said, uh, before I go into the five weight exercises, there's a big debate about whether you should do these either standing or sitting or kneeling and I prefer to do as much as I can standing and, and why is because when you run you're running on your feet so any weight training you do should emulate that movement you're not sitting down and doing a, a knee lift right you're running you're lifting your knees uh, so we'll talk about these one by one so so here it goes so number one my favorite all time is the power clean it's explosive uh, it, it just feels good. It works the hips, works every part of the muscle that I can think of. And, and it's an Olympic sport. It's a real sport. And for me, it's explosive and it helps my athletes. Now, you may not like it or you may love it so much you can graduate to doing the snatch. But for me, the power clean is a great exercise that should be in your repertoire. Number two is squats. Uh, conventional two-legged squats, feet shoulder width, and I'll define a full squat when your butt touches the ground. A half squat is when your thighs go parallel and a quarter squat is, you know, a quarter just a tiny bit down. And I believe in doing as full range as motion as possible, which means uh, at least a half squat with thighs parallel to the ground or near parallel to the ground. Now, when that becomes boring or when you hit a plateau or different times of your season, you may want to try um, split squats and people have toined these Bulgarian squats. I call them the Borzov squats because I learned it from reading a book on Valerie Borzov. But if you can do squats single-legged and if you want more resistance, you can hold on to dumbbells on your hands and do the Bulgarian or Borzov squats. You can look these up on YouTube and there's thousands of videos on how to do these. And when I ha I'm in a gym, I'll show it to you later. The third one I can think of is the deadlift. Uh, another classic explosive weight training exercise that's good for all athletes. And when you get good at the deadlift, you can try a variation and that's the Romanian deadlift. Uh, the deadlift is when you hold the bar and you lift up with your feet, and the Romanian is where you literally have stiff legs and you're going down with the bar and the weight itself. Again, go to YouTube and you can surf uh, these terms I'm using. Uh, the last two is mostly for the glute hamstring development, and, and these are two that I like to do. One is the glute ham raises. And again, I like to do this standing up if possible, if your weight room or gym has the facilities and, and you're standing and you're, and you're lifting your legs, stiff leg going backwards. And if you can do one at a time so that you can figure out any kind of muscle imbalances 
Um, so that one is a uh, number four on my list. And the last one would be the reverse hypers. And this is where um, there's other terms, uh, Swedish hypers or Swedish sit-ups. And this is where you're on your knees and someone's holding your feet or you're anchoring it behind some pads and you're literally going down, letting the eccentric muscles of the hamstring and then you sort of push yourself up or you just go up. And that's another good exercise to do. So um, I'll repeat them again. You have power cleans, you have squats, you have deadlifts, you have the glute ham raise, and you have reverse hypers. And those are my top five. Now, we'll get some other experts to come in and challenge and give some suggestions. Uh, we know there's a big trend out there with hip thrust, and we'll get some experts to come in and, and talk about them. But for now, uh, I think these five, along with the variations, is a good start for any high school through master's athlete trying to get faster in sprints. So uh, that's it for the video. Uh, again, there are four ways to reach me. You can follow the blog at speedendurance.com. You can like my Facebook fan page and post a question. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter. And last, you can always subscribe to this YouTube channel at speedendurance.com slash TV.